It's a heavyweight showdown between the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung and Frankie Edgar. Well, as far as American fighters go, they don't come a lot more popular than the former UFC lightweight champion, New Jersey's finest, Frankie the Answer Edgar. Frankie Edgar is a phenomenal wrestler, but he's used that wrestling to become an even more dangerous fighter. He's developed fantastic boxing under Mark Henry. Ricardo Almeida has his jiu-jitsu on par with his striking. Also, the wrestling has made Frankie Edgar one of the best fighters the UFC has seen at 155, and now at 145 pounds. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things. From as close as you can get, he's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Jung is 33, Edgar is 38. Jung is one inch tall. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <coughs> Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 23 wins, 11 losses, and one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, USA, Frankie, the answer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, the Korean Zombie Chan Song Jung. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Official home base team over the arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC live event. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night and a fantastic win. Team Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Oh, huge block! Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one, might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 
notice the drive. Look at how he drives the knee right into the midsection. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one on the line. And he's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. And potentially a critical takedown here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Edgar's pass attempt denied. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling is really entertaining. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by the Korean zombie. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That's a perfect scramble guy. right there. Beautiful transition. Edgar gets in the clinch yet again. Big punch from the clinch. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have landed for Frankie Edgar. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Play. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round, a very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Ooh, head kick lands, it's hurt. Stuff the takedown, no problem. The Korean Zombies got the tie clinch now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Korean zombie gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Under three minutes here to go in round two. So pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. 
All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Frankie Edgar finishes! Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, here one more time. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Frankie the Answer Edgar. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.